Okay, can you just tell me your name? My name is Reverend Carmen Duga Maritol. Reverend Carmen Duga Maritol. Okay. It's <laughs> a handle. Thank you. And um, can you just tell me what um, you've organized for the public today? What we have here is a psychic fair. And what we did this originally, our, this is our 12th, and originally we started 11 years ago as a public outreach. Nice. We wanted to reach the people that wanted more spirituality and wanted to discover about it because an awful lot of people are very close to it mm -hmm. and now that's more open and they're having that like-minded people will be attracted and they're finding that if you thought you were strange, yes. you fit in. Oh, nice. And you fit in perfectly. So can you just tell me the title of your organization? It's the Spiritual Science Fellowship and HRM. Okay. And how many vendors do you have here today? Uh, today we have uh, we have 13 vendors. Mm -hmm. We have uh, 12 readers tables. Yep. We have uh, we had eight speakers. Yep. And two psychic demonstrations. Nice. And how was the turnout? The turnout was phenomenal. Oh, we great. Did very good because the word of mouth. And because it's also our twelfth uh, one, yes, we found people are waiting for us because they know us. Yes, and we have we are slightly different from the other ones because there is no competition. Okay, everybody we found because we start our our fair with an opening prayer. Yes, and it's a family. Okay, and the families help each other. Mm -hmm. and that this is our outreach. Yes. And it's to make people aware that there is there is something on the other side, something more than there's there's life after death. Yes. So basically that's how we were started. Way back in Montreal, back in seventy seven. Yes. Because that was that was the lady that started. She just had to prove that there was more than there was life after death. They, that was the, the proof of what she needed because she was a psychic from the year of four. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's how it started. Now, Carmen, do you do readings yourself? Yes, I do. Yep. What, what kind of readings do you do? Uh, well, I use uh, animal stones or animal cards. Uh, I find animals are a big thing for me because they talk to me. Oh wow! And I hear, like, I hear voices in my head, but I'm not going crazy. <laughs> uh, but I've always been like this since I was a child. But I thought this was normal; everybody could do this. Yes. And when I took classes to develop my psychic abilities uh, 20 years ago, I couldn't figure out. I I figured I can't do this because I don't hear anything different. And then finally, it just dawned on me that's always been with me. I okay. didn't realize. So, so you took it for granted, kind yes, of. Yes, just I thought everybody has this, which everybody does in different levels. Yes. But I didn't realize that it was natural. Mm -hmm. And for when I do readings, I usually most of my readings will come as guidance. Okay. They'll have guidance for different uh, issues, or usually it's your spirit guides or your teachers, or even the angels. Yes. They will come and they want you to listen. They can give advice and guidance because most of the time we don't listen yes. when it comes to us. Mm -hmm. So by this way, when it comes from somebody else, it's almost a like confirmation yes. that it actually is the truth. And that's when they listen. And if somebody, like sometimes we'll ha I'll have uh, departed loved ones that'll come in. Okay. And that's the mediumship part of it. That, but I don't, I don't go out looking for mediumship. Yes. If it's needed, they will come in. Okay. I, because I, you can't really boss them around. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Nice. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say about what you've done to organize this event or uh, anything at all? Well, what we are, we, we have a Sunday service mm -hmm. every week at the uh, University of Unitarian Church, which is 5500 English Street in Halifax. Okay. We have it at 7 p.m. on the Sunday. And that is what we have. Usually we have 
uh, some singing, we have a meditation, it's always part of it. We s read principles which just say how, what we're all about, yes. and what we try to live our lives by. And there's usually a lecture, something spiritual, something uplifting. And then we have messages from spirit. Nice. And we have people that will just deliver messages. And it's almost like a family. And after that, we, we join for coffee and tea after and just socialize. And most of the people that come, they said they feel it's, they're not being judged. And they feel they can be themselves. Nice. Because most people, like if you're involved with this, most of the people will say, people think we're strange. Hmm. But they realize they're not the strange ones because yes. we're all the same mm -hmm. and this is the place that they're allowed to be who they are because that's something that if we could change anything in the world that we would try to change people's minds as to realizing everybody is a brother and sister that's and beautiful family, and humanity and that is you're not always going to get along because families don't always get along no <laughs> but they always love each other Yes. And that is all we're, we're meant to do. That's beautiful, okay. Carmen. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, and thank you for all your hard work in organizing this awesome event and for allowing me to on the fly videotape you. <laughs> you're such a natural. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.